Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. Before I agree to anything, I'd like to know what's going on. You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. If these worlds rebel, they should face the consequences. They are afraid of the Empire. I won't punish them for that. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. This Rift Alliance must understand they're placing billions of lives at risk. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. If these worlds are determined to leave the Republic, one Jedi is not going to change their minds. Jedi have changed the fate of the galaxy. This is not impossible. Not for the right person. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your strength and courage have long shown you merit the rank. I've been waiting for this since I first set foot on Typhon. Neil. And the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through her actions, this Jedi has proved worthy. Before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise, and may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow master. Perhaps now I can finally strive for greatness. Well said, Jedi, and well done. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them, quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. I'll have this Rift Alliance back in line before you know it. Do what you must. Just remember, we rely on their goodwill. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all.
Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I, I can't talk any louder. Someone might hear. I'm Nadia Grill. My father and the other senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. Then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Do you have any idea what the Sith are up to? I don't know, but I've seen them tampering with the engines. The one in charge is called Eric's. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Eryx would have probably killed you if you tried anything. I know. I, I couldn't... There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please help us. If they're doing something with the engines, there might not be much time. your day. Caution. Navigational computer illegally locked. Fail-safe systems have been disabled. Collision with Doralia's surface is imminent. Recommend immediate course change to avoid casualties. Oh, wonderful. My genius is about to be snuffed out thanks to some Imperial grunts ham-handed sabotage. Away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't. You just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Your attack has failed. Now prepare to face justice for what you've done. I see no failure. My mission will soon be complete. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Whoever Kairos is, he sent you on your final mission. Hmm. 
My lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war, once she's incapacitated. But the others must die, it is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. It must be a weakness. Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. If you can all stop arguing for a moment, anything you know about the ship could be useful. Wonka, stupa wana. That Sith also destroyed the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I don't want to die! Shush, Blasus. Jedi, could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just... It's dangerous. But better the moon than Duralia, I suppose. Yes, yes, I thought so. Millions could die if we hit the planet. Wait! We can't do that! I if we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalia Srek Grula Voska. There's no time to argue. I'll overload one of the engines. Everyone else, evacuate! Y yes, Master Jedi. I understand. Sure, Stuan. Jedi, once the engine is set to overload, get out as soon as you can. Good luck. Quite enough of that. Oh, my God. 
as I programmed. Jedi, when you're free, could I have a moment of your time? I'm for now. Looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? The Chancellor's seen you growing away from the Republic. I'm here to ensure that doesn't happen. Uh, yes, yes. I should introduce everyone. First, we have... Representative Alani, who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duan. 
He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals. You call them? Hello. Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? You should feel honored that someone of my rank would see to your grievances. Next is Shuru. He is from a water planet called, uh, Punchimo. I I'm Blazes. If you need any help from well, not that you need Hello. And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? We certainly don't lack for diversity. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Tai? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. Balmora has never been part of the Republic. It's just an ally. You know your politics, but things change. Since the occupation, Balmora's government has been in exile, myself included, and our droid factories are under Imperial control. But if Balmora's liberated, I'll see we join the Republic and bring our droid armies with us. I shall hold you to that promise. After we celebrate victory. The Republic actually helping Balmora. That would be... a start. Either we work together, or the Empire will destroy us. You'll see the Republic's true strength. But we expect your full support in return. Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. Balmora, home. I never wanted to see it like this. I am... was Balmora's trade secretary. I was off-world when the Imperial occupation began, and my colleagues were exiled or killed. Our president... he was taken, and who knows what he suffered. Hiding or not, I now have seniority. If we free Balmora, I become president. The Imperial occupation has helped your career considerably. I never wanted this, but any other candidate may have been tainted by the Empire. And once our government is restored, I want Balmora to join the Republic. And Balmora's weapons and droids would then help the Republic army, correct? Naturally. I don't expect you to help me for free. Hi! It's... it's... It's madness. You don't have any supporters or, or soldiers, anything. That will change. Meanwhile, I have a contact who can help us. A revolutionary calling himself Zenith. Zenith and his followers have been sabotaging the Empire's operations. Assassination, sneak attacks. He's something of a blunt instrument. At least this Zenith is standing up to the Empire. I need his knowledge and resources, but first, we have to find him. When you're on the surface, go to this location and enter the phrase Two Perspectives Are Aligned into the computer there. It'll get Zenith's attention. Hopefully, he'll be amenable. I will handle him according to my judgment, not yours. Best of luck. I've been... waiting to return for so long.
I heard that two perspectives are aligned. Zenith only speaks in private, and the Empire is always watching. There are privacy scramblers throughout this area, relics from a freer time. Switch them on and you will be contacted. Must be weakness. 
quite enough of that. Speaking, what do you want? Watch your tone. I am a Jedi Master, and Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. Okay. But what do you want? Ty Corden requests the use of your followers and information to help him restore the government. Unlikely. The old government's in exile. The Empire's too powerful. Hmm. Ty Corden was talented. Naive, though. Still, exile can change a person. No. The Republic has failed us before. Help me first, then we'll talk. I'll expect you to hold up your end of the deal. Expect what you like. I'm tracking the Imperial head of manufacture, responsible for building weapons and enslaving my people. He's operating from inside the Okara droid factory. Normally, no problem, but he has a powerful bodyguard. I can't get close. Go to the factory and keep the bodyguard out of the way for me. Then we talk politics. A child could do this. Don't take long. This mission is vital. Hmm, <laughs> what a sourpuss. Not everyone has your gracious disposition, dear Holiday. We'd better do his little chore. travel is for official business only.
First those terrorists, now a Jedi. Saras, handle this intruder. As you command. Get back, Jedi. I'm apprentice to Darth Lacris, Vice President of Balmora, and this man is under my protection. Darth Lacris will soon be training a new apprentice. I see. Then let's test your master's training against mine. For that Jedi! Cyrus was Darth Lacris's special apprentice! I'll have to answer for his death! Whatever you came for, I'll never. What the. Jedi, are you alright? Perhaps you should surrender before your situation gets worse. Jedi, good work distracting the bodyguard. Allow me to find a position. Missed my shot. Step back, please. I need him dead. His life means nothing to me. No! Please! I'm not a- Excellent. Thank you. I found a safe house where Ty and his colleagues can gather. My people are smuggling in there now. This is it. I'll go on ahead. I hear Ty's plan. Excellent work. Two of my colleagues have already returned from exile, and we can work safely here. Plotting to give Balmora to the Republic. One occupation replaced by another. But we both want the Empire gone. Our goal is the same. For now. We must act now before the Empire realizes what's happening. 
Balmora's strength is in the huge corporations here. They have money, political pull, and military droids. So far, the Empire has left the corporations alone, in return for donations of weapons and credits. If these corporations are arming Imperial soldiers, they're the enemy. The Jedi is right. After you both handled that Imperial official, I called my old corporate contacts here. We have their attention. Their resources are invaluable to building our new government. I want their commitment. What would be involved? Director Fenn is head of Troida, and speaks for the other companies. He's asked to discuss a deal with us. There's an old records vault outside Sobrik he's chosen for the meet. I'd like you to convince him to help. I'm sure I can make this Director Fenn see reason. The Empire watches everyone important. Fenn will have Imperial droids escorting him. For protection. Destroy them quickly or they'll report you to the Empire. Then it's over. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Watch out for the droids!
I see Ty Corden picks his negotiators well. That should wipe your presence from the droid's memory. Director Finn, try to. I've been considering Ty Corden's offer. Given that we risk Darth Lacris' anger if we are caught, we want a special favor. I have nothing that would be of value to Balmora's corporations. You do. You just don't realize it. The Jedi have sometimes opposed our more unconventional weapons. Your ethics cost us credit. The anguish of the scientists, burdened with petty... I mean, always vigilant against evil. If we support Ty, I want to promise that the Jedi won't interfere with our weapons development. Balmora's in peril and you're wheeling and dealing. We're risking our lives. All we want is a tiny concession. Wait, that's... the Imperial soldier monitoring those droids. Stay here. I'll, uh... I'll tell him something. Thought he'd never leave. I have information for you. Your interference is becoming tiresome, Zenith. Just being helpful. Seems Director Finn has a wife and daughter in Sobrick. My men know where to find them. I mention that, and Finn will agree to anything. Better than wasting time arguing with him. You're welcome. Better go. There. The Empire suspects nothing. So, can you promise the Jedi will not interfere with our work? I hear your wife and daughter are in Sobrick. Unprotected. The Jedi can assure their... safety. What? Oh, yes. Very well, Jedi. We'll help Ty Corden. We've hidden stockpiles from the Empire. Weapons, blueprints, credit accounts. They're all yours. Next time, don't let greed affect your judgment. Please, forgive my previous thoughtlessness. This password will let you access terminals in Sobrick to get data on the stockpiles, but that data is encrypted. Once you have all the data, take it to the sunken Sarlacc Cantina in Sobrick. A cyborg there, Banks, can decrypt and transmit it for you. Just... Treat him gently. If Ty has more people like you, facing up to Darth Lacris should be easy. Goodbye.
Are you Banks? I need you to decrypt and transmit some data. You're risking your neck in here, Jedi. Sobrik's Imperial now. Everywhere. Even in my head. I'd love to help you, but Darth Lacris discovered how fast I work and, bang, I'm working for her. Any brave man would rather die than serve a Darth. Dying I could handle. Getting a shock rod in the eye, no. Darth Lacris has my brain busy processing a data stream right now. If I stop to decrypt this, it's the shock prod. Defy me, and I guarantee you'll suffer right here. Now decrypt it. Okay, all right. Hand it over. Ugh. Screwed up Darth Lacris's data stream. But at least you got what you wanted, right, Jedi? Pie is waiting. Let's leave this ignominious little hole. We've been receiving the stockpile data. It's better than I hoped. Look, Director Fenn already sent droids for protection. I heard you and Xena threatened Fenn's family. Was that necessary? What if the corporations rebel later? There are times you must fight your own battles. I suppose I'll soon have issues like this every day. With the corporation's support, we're secure enough to begin the next stage of my plan. Word is, our current president, Galtha, is ill. He's rarely seen, and Darth Lacris says she's acting on his behalf. But I need him. Unless President Galtha publicly signs over power to me, becoming president will be difficult. If he's already in office, why don't we just get rid of Darth Lacris? If Galtha is still fit for the position, we'd welcome him. But after so long... Trouble. And Foreman and Sobrig just recorded this speech from Darth Lacris. By our dear president, after these rumors of a new anarchist government, we are pursuing Executive Order 228. Using it, we've unmasked dozens of resistance accomplices hiding amongst us. But rest assured, they are already at our holding facility. Once they're punished for their crimes, Balmora's future will be bright again. Darth Lacris enjoys rounding up innocents. Set a trap for a Jedi. Kill the prisoners if no one takes the bait. Win-win for her. Your people should have risen up against Darth Lacris long ago. Some tried. We call them martyrs. Hmm. She'll expect one Jedi, but I have allies in hiding. We'll draw the Imperials out, you get the civilians. Plausible? 
You and your friends had better know what you're doing. Done okay so far. Thank you, both of you. We'll start arrangements to send those people into hiding. I know this holding facility, Death Trap. Here's the location. My men and I will go on ahead. Don't forget what we're risking for you, Ty. Because I won't. the Imperial forces to follow us. A few are being stubborn. They're guarding the facility and civilians inside put up defenses. Force fields are blocking the entrance. Have your people search for some way to breach those force fields. Amateur hey, search. I have plans with the locations of the generators powering those force fields. Shut those down. The facility's open. Back to work. Be careful. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Be safe out there. Remind, mechanized travel is for official business only.
Quite enough of that. Down on your Jedi. I won't let Dark Lackwitz win. He placed all our concussion charges around the facility. 
Shockwave will kill everyone inside. Timer's already counting down. Get everyone out now. I swear, Zenith, if I get out of here, you'll wish I hadn't. Just get out alive. You can kill me later. I'll pull out, find the civilians you freed. Get the others and head to this outpost. If I'm not there, report to Ty. Terminal safe. Who needs to know? Just as I programmed. That's quite enough of that. cleared for the following travel routes. Jedi, you're alive! We've been getting reports of explosions near the holding facility. This line seems secure. First, are all the civilians safe? 
Yes, at the cost of Zenith's followers and maybe Zenith himself. I was afraid of this. I hope he's safe. Someone's coming. You should guard your back better, Jedi. You might end up like my people. I could have died in that facility, along with dozens of innocents. I was killing the enemy. You want to yell, okay. Just listen to this man first. I was in that place, Jedi. If you're looking for President Galtha, I know where they got him. Is he a captive, or Darth Lacris' accomplice? I don't know, sir. I just saw him being smuggled in and out of the Balmoran Arms factory by the Imperials. A word to the Resistance could have saved him sooner. What if someone had sold me out to the Empire, huh? Darth Lacris isn't stupid. She'll guess Galtha's location is out. If I were her, I'd move him right away. If the President vanishes, we'll have a long, slow slog ahead of us. Jedi, I need you to get him out of the factory. I'm going with you. Darth Lacris has lived too long. I don't want you involved. You're dangerous and irresponsible. I'll be good. Plus, you need me. Only I know the factory's defense shutdown codes. You won't reach the president without me. Cross the line, and I'll throw you back over it. Seems fair enough. Factory's big. I'll go on ahead and scout. Meet me at this position outside. There's a beacon there. Input this code, and I'll find you. I can't be signed into power without a committee of Balmora citizens. Sir, if I find you a refuge, would you help me call them together? Sure, Mr. Corden. You can count on me. Be careful in there, both of you. Balmoran Arms is an Imperial stronghold, and Darth Lacris might be expecting you. travel routes. Be safe out there. Remind, mechanized travel is for efficient business only.
Let's settle this. Now, just as I programmed. Stay quiet. It's a bad place to be hanging around. Activity spiked inside. Security changes. Transport arrangements. Guess Darth Lacris is about to move the president. There's no way I'll let her get away with it. Passwords are all being changed. You'll need me to get to her. I never get between a man and his obsession. See you at the ship. Let's go, Jedi. Hmm. Not very subtle. Let me. President should be close by. Let's go. Meddling in my affairs. This is beyond tiresome, Zenith. I decreed that Balmora would not become a forced labor world, and my reward? Your insolent little rebellion. Now this resistance government. You've given him delusions of grandeur, Jedi. But Balmora is mine. That man is mine. Oh, precious. You actually think this fool president is of use to anyone? Even Thord he can't help you. Your government is doomed. How sad. You're a dead woman. Seconded. My followers demand revenge. I'm not without mercy. I'll grant you a swift death, rather than make you witness your plans tumbling down. Say no to help.
No, not yet. You don't understand. You've destroyed everything. You've... Never been happier to outlive someone. One death's too good for her. Troubling, though. What she said before about the president sounded too... honest. The first lesson any Sith learns is that treachery leads to opportunity. Instincts for trouble keep me alive. I can give President Galtha back to the safe house, start his thaw. Meet me there. And be quick. Something's not right. my expertise. Ty's gone to meet his citizens committee, coming to witness their new president's inauguration. Hooray for the resistance. Darth Lacris got the last laugh. Meet our noble president. Lonely. Gone. All. Who? Uh, no more. No more. Let's try words, shall we? Uh, Nothing to say. Ran out. Imperial torture shattered him. He can't hand over power. Lacris knew. No. The Empire can't win. We must fix this. Let Ty deal with this when he gets back. Ty's bringing the citizens. They, they can't see the President this way. Corporations donated medical technology. There's a spinal implant. Hacks into the brain and muscle functions. He'd speak properly, sign his name. Experimental tech, though, wouldn't last long and it might kill him. But Ty will be in power, and I doubt the president would want to live like this. We can't fail now. Not when we're so close. Do it. Good. I'll make arrangements. An adrenal stem will make Galtha look more alert. Get one from the Republic outpost. I'll stall Ty. Good lab being neglected. Where's the Zaz? I should have Holiday redesign this whole space.
Have the stem? Excellent. Just in time. We heard about Darth Lacris. Citizens are already rising up in Sobrick. The occupation is ending. Sir, it's marvelous to see you again. My exile was too long. Ty, is that you? You look older. Uh, yes, sir. I've been gone for years. Is he all right? Once he's had time to recover, he'll be back to his old self. I'm sorry, sir. I wish we'd reached you sooner. I cannot continue in my position. Ty, I must pass my role on to you. Good. He can follow his script. Before I retire from public life, I, President Golfer, Hereby transfer all the powers of my office as president to Ty Corden. As citizens of Balmora, we bear witness to this decision, made of your own free will. I accept, sir, and I will strive to be a worthy successor. Well done, President Corden. The Republic and the Jedi are with you. As my first act, I've drafted a formal request for Balmora to join the Republic. Is there anything you'd like to say on this historic occasion, Master Jedi? Make the most of this. I won't always be around to bail you out. The Jedi has a point. I have a few points of business to finish aboard your ship before I leave, Jedi. There's a matter we three need to discuss in private. Zenith, perhaps you should join us there. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Jedi has what she wanted, Ty. Balmora and the Republic. Now I want a seat in your government. This doesn't sound like a wise course of action. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. That's not what you said when you needed Zenith's followers to die for you. You become president. My men get unmarked graves. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Hm. Jedi does what's necessary. Could work out. I really hope you're right about this. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. 
My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. Please, it's been a long day. I'm sorry, Jedi, but this is important. The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? With so many people coming and going, anyone could have put it there. Maybe, but I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up, so it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Far too little, I'm afraid. Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, Attis Station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. They chose to hide Addis Station's existence from me. Why should I concern myself with its fate? Please, Jedi. This facility must be saved. Addis Station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. If I do this, I hope Addis Station will be ready to share its knowledge. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But father, Addis Station was built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. Don't be so disobedient, child. It's his decision. I'm not a child. It's our station too, and I want to help. I won't get in your way. My daughter seems determined to help you, Jedi. Like it or not? Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson.